Hi everyone, this is Michael Stoltz with MichaelStoltz.com, changing the world one pixel at a time. Today, I want to show you just a quick uh, video on how to check other email accounts inside your Gmail, known as you know, POP3. Now, here is the scenario, or some of the scenario that you may want to use this. Let's say you're moving hosting companies and you are at risk of losing your current inbox because there's no way for you to back it up. Maybe you're not using cPanel. Uh, there's a lot of scenarios there, but a way you could do this is go ahead before you move hosting companies, set this up so the way it pulls in all those emails that you got inside your free Gmail account, then you have a backup. Or let's say you manage multiple email accounts, in Google's case, or Gmail here, they allow you to check five email accounts uh, per free Gmail account. So it's a nice little way to uh, use your inbox efficiently and use your time efficiently. Now on my screen, what you'll see here is my demonstration Gmail account. Uh, to get to where I'm at right now, first you will go to the settings wheel, go down to settings. You'll fall in the general tab first. Let's click on this one right here. Four uh, sections down, it says check mail from other accounts. Now we wanna click on this, it's gonna throw a pop up here. So after we click it, clacked on that, this pulls up. Now, the email address you want to enter is the one of the email account that you would like to check. In my case, I've created a, an additional um, email account that I do not use. So if you want to email me there, feel free. It's not going to work. <laughs> but this one is for uh, demonstration purposes. So enter that email, click next step. Now, your username is always the full email account that you just created. Your password ap applies to this email account right there. Now it could be the same as your Gmail account. Best practices would say that you probably should not use the same password twice, but hey, you know, sometimes we all mess it up, right? <laughs> your next one is your POP server. Now when you go back to your hosting company or wherever your mailbox resides, they usually will provide you some instructions on how to check this. Now in this case, it's defaulting to mail.icu.click. And it's assuming, meaning Gmail, is assuming that we're going to check this email unsecurely. And the additional option is to check it securely. Now, that may sound confusing, but let's keep it simple for today to show you the easiest way to do this. And we're going to keep it simple. Generally, it could be, this is going to auto-populate based upon whatever you type after the at sign. The port number is important. I leave it at 110, that's the unsecure method. If you go with the basically the secure version it's 995 and this server address will probably change a little bit it may look like something um, you know um, mail dot you know hosting company dot com or something it, it will be it will be different just so you know you have four check boxes down here I always like to leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server that's originating from if you are using um, port 995 and that secured server address I would click this, that makes sense. On the third one, label the incoming message however you like. Now, I like to label the incoming messages when I check multiple accounts uh, through my other Gmail um, accounts. Um, that's kind of a nice little practice, it'll kind of differentiate your inbox and you can kind of scan quickly and see what mail from where. Now let's go ahead and click add account. Now that's gonna ask you, hey, do you wanna send email as this email account you set up today, I'm going to say no, but you can choose to say yes and that's some additional settings and I can reference a video I did a few years ago on how to send and receive uh, email with your branded domain. So let's go ahead and click finish. Now back here on the accounts and import tab, you'll see four uh, rows down here. We now have that account that we set up and you're about to set up and it says, hey, we last checked, no emails came in which is okay in this scenario that I'm showing you. I have no email right here, so that's why I didn't fetch anything. Something to keep in mind, Gmail is only going to fetch about 200 messages every 30 minutes. So if you have an inbox with 5,000 messages, A, God bless you, <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's gonna take you a while, so I would just set this and forget it. And then going back to the beginning of the video where I said if you're moving hosting companies, you may wanna make sure that all that email has been moved over into this quote unquote backup, you know, backup Gmail account or your primary Gmail account. 
that's it guys i hope this has been uh, useful please read my blog post read the description i'll go in a little bit more detail on some of these things and i know you may have some questions so fire away we'll talk to you soon have a great day